Hey everyone, Scott from Warside here with another unboxing video for you. This time we've got some original art. Let's get right into it. As usual, we've got some eBay purchases. I'm going to start with this one. Pretty sure I know what both of them are. Well, I know exactly what that one is. This one, I've got a pretty good idea. They are, uh... Again, both eBay purchases. For what this one is, it's packaged well enough. Again, if it's what I think it is, it's nothing that fantastic, exciting, valuable. It's just, it's just art. Uh, production art, maybe. But if you watch my videos, you know I've been wrong before about what I pulled out of a bag or a box. Yep, that's, at least that's what this packing slip says. Although, I never would have guessed by the uh, size of the bag and the boards. Let me see here. Oh, well, how much effort are you going to put into this? Wow. Alright, so what we have is the hand-colored production art from um, Deathmate I forget the specifics. You think it was my first video, huh? Um, I forget what it is. It's Deathmate. Yellow. Deathmate Yellow. Um, it's, and in this we've got Armstrong and um, his brother. It's not Archer. It's Armstrong and Ivar. So I think this was actually billed as Archer and Armstrong. I don't, I don't see Archer in here anywhere. And then there's, without the word balloons, or the wording of the word balloons, and with, you can see the Our marks are off a little bit, which is why the balloons aren't lining up, but... Anyways... So, this, obviously, the first step is when the original artwork is penciled and inked and drawn or just, you know, done in one step by the artist on 11 by 17 or something like that. Then it's reduced in size and hand colored. And then from here, it's reduced again to the actual comic book format size and put um, on a glossy slick as sort of a proof. Uh, that was how Valiant did their art back in the day. So there's that piece. Let's move on now to piece number two. Boy, I am really slacking today. It's because I'm in a hurry. It's 90 degrees. 
There I am. Not that anybody want to look to me. This is from... Hmm... Boy, I'm really gonna have to get my notes out now. This is from an artist, Drew Moss. And I had ordered, uh, found some information on his, his website, um, I saw another, uh, Instagram, uh, and YouTube content creator who had got some artwork from him. And I thought it was, you know, I liked it. I liked the piece that they had gotten. So I went and looked at the website and found a couple that I thought were, uh, were nice. And I contacted the artist directly uh, to see if he, you know, had bulk quantity discounts, let's say. And he came back um, and made me a nice deal. Um, and so what I ended up picking up from him was this is a... Uh, page 9 from issue 12 of Vampirella, Red Sonia. And this character is Old Sonia. So I just, I just thought that was a cool full page splash. Now this was up on his website. Um... This one was also up on his site, and I honestly don't know anything much, you know, anything at all about this one, other than it's another um, Vampirella Red Sonia um, piece. Uh, I've never read the issue. I'm gonna have to pick it up now. Uh, but I don't know something about this one. Uh, drew me to it, so I went ahead and grabbed this one. And then he said he had a cover available. And this is the cover to issue 7 of Vampirella Red Sonia. So I added that to my stack. And when everything showed up, he threw an extra piece in for me. When I originally started talking to him, I asked to see the color, uh, the finished work on this piece. Um, and I, you know, I'm not sure why, but for, just for some reason I decided to, uh, to pass on this one initially. And he said, since I bought three and I'd asked about this one, he, he threw it in, which I thought was just pretty awesome. So, and again, this is another um, from Vampirella Red Sonia, issue nine, I think. I'm not sure of the page number on this. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure this is also from page nine. Um, yeah, uh, yep, They're from Red Sony Nine. So that's uh, that's it. But these, uh, I think this is probably my favorite out of this batch. Nice, nice simple cover. Uh, definitely looks, the, the finished cover has a couple, uh, it's like split down the middle, sort of like the face, and has uh, an old Sonia cover on one side, and then an old Vampirella cover on the other side, Vint, like vintage. Uh, so the, the full cover finish definitely looks pretty neat. But But there we go. That's the uh, artwork for the day. I've got a lot more coming in, probably this week. I got another dozen pieces, I think, from an eBay seller. Uh, all small pieces. Artists you've never heard of, from books you've never heard of type thing. And I've got, got a ton of books coming in. A bunch of gold from a very interesting collection. Uh, and when they show up, they'll show up and I'll, I'll record a video on it. But for now, that'll be it. I'll drop a uh, picture of Magdalena down below, like I normally do. Uh, leave me a comment. Hashtag. Let's see. Let's do. Um, do hashtag. Hashtag. Um, hashtag. Vampirella. Yeah, let's do hashtag Vampirella. I'll spell that over here somewhere, as usual. And let's keep pushing the subscriber count up. Picked up a couple more. Still got a ways to go. But that's it for today. And as usual, I'm Scott from Orderside. And I want to know... What's in your hide?